Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on, yep, you've guessed it, The Flash Season 6. So, it has now been over a week since the, yeah, well over a week, I think, yeah, geez, it's almost been a week and a half since the DC TV day at San Diego Comic Con, where we had, you know, all of the panels and with that, trailers for all of the new upcoming seasons for all of our favorite, you know, Arrowverse shows. Of course, with these trailers came uh, or comes many questions or many, many questions, and I guess a decent amount of the time as well, theories as to what is to go down as we head into these new seasons. Now, the questions are already rolling in as to when we will get another trailer for not only The Flash, but the rest of the DC TV shows as well. And the honest answer, and the honest answer might I say, is, well, probably not for a while. It is usually around, what, like September that we get new promo material in regards to trailers or little TV spots. So about a month before the shows come back. Of course, we will get like posters and different promo materials and stuff like that. But in regards to new trailers or TV spots, you know, it's time to be patient as it probably is going to be a while based off previous years and seasons. The only show I could really see us getting, you know, more, you know, little video things for would be Batwoman because it's new. But one of the things that was revealed and dived into with a decent amount of detail and information was the villain that we will get to meet in episode one of season six and who will serve as a big bad for a while. That villain, of course, being Ramsey Rosso, aka Bloodwork. So in this video, we are going to be going over blood work in regards to who he is and who he will be on the show, as well as a few more things that they did reveal for us uh, or to us at Comic-Con, either at the panel or in just interviews beforehand that tell us more about blood work as well as villains going forward in this season. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we go over. But the main thing I want you guys to let me know in the comments is, I guess, your anticipation rating. So by that, on a scale of 1 to 10... How good do you think blood work is going to be? So one is the worst, 10 is the best. So, you know, personally for me, I'm expecting maybe like a 7, 7.5. Um, but yeah, let me know what you would rate him in the comments section down below, as well as any other things you want to say down there. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video and just are excited for everything involving the Flash Season 6, drop a like on the video to show your support. But um, yeah, let's just start off with the, uh, the basics, which I'm sure some of you might be unaware of still, you know, before getting into the more detailed information released over Comic-Con and the days after the release of the Season 6 trailer. So firstly, who is Bloodwork? Well, Bloodwork is otherwise known as, as I said before, Ramsey Rosso, who's a relatively new addition to the Flash's rogues gallery, having only been introduced after the new 52 reboot of the DC Comics stuff. So basically, you know, in this DC rebirth era. Now, Ramsey was born with hemophilia, which is similar to that of Nate Haywood, aka Citizen Steel over on Legends of Tomorrow, which for those that don't know, is a condition where essentially your blood doesn't, you know, clot properly. So it is fairly easily or fairly easy to bleed out. Anyone with this condition is usually treated with extreme care, but heading into his adult life, Ramsey Rosso became a coroner at the morgue so he could experiment with blood samples in hopes of finding a cure. Now, as a result of his various amounts of research on different bodies, which some of them were actually metahuman, Ramsey was able to make himself invulnerable, incapable of bleeding. So the complete opposite of him of, well, what he was before. Now, in the comics, The Flash has a pretty hard time fighting Bloodwork because of the villain's unique uh, skill set, I guess you could call it. Now, Bloodwork has the power to, you know, just transform his body into this big blob sort of thing made of blood, like a blood blob, I guess. In this form, he is basically indestructible, which is, you know, you know, I guess... Like, yeah, as I said before, like an, the opposite of what he's, you know, of his hemophilia thing, you know, where he's extremely fragile, but with this like change and when he becomes blood work, he's a complete opposite. He's basically, you know, indestructible or invulnerable because when you're a hemophiliac, basically the slightest cut could, you know, cause you to bleed out. Now, apart from this control he has over his own body, blood work can also generate more blood and also take control of the blood in the veins of other people or, you know, more likely to be his enemies. So he can make it congeal, um, coagulate, and even make the, the blood of the enemy or the other person burn. So if he has those powers on the show, uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how they deal with him. Now, the only way in which you can basically bring blood work down and defeat him is to slow his heart. So, you know, stop the blood flow, sort of, if you want to call it. Uh, so, his powers are tied directly to his heartbeat. So, the faster his heart is, the more blood he can generate. That's, you know, he's powerful. Now, the big thing about this is that it's not really that big of a weakness because his powers, you know, when he's in the heat of battle, would, you know, get more effective because his blood would be flowing. So, it's hard for Barry to you know, calm him down and make him slow his heartbeat. 
But the way in which Barry does it in the comics is, you know, there was a storyline going on in the comics with a negative speed force. So he uses the negative speed force to, you know, temporarily, not slow down, um, temporarily, sorry, not just slow down Ramsey's heart, but completely stop it. Now, the thing with um, the show is that they did introduce the negative speed force in a deeper way last season. So they could introduce that into this storyline if they want to. So it wouldn't be seen as a massive stretch if they were to follow the storyline in regards to all this, the, the method in which Barry, you know, goes about trying to, you know, calm him down. So they'd have to do some development there. But, um, you know, it's not a leap of faith if it were just a leap out of nowhere because they did do stuff with it last year. However, when you, you know, use the speed force and the negative speed force at the same time, uh, well, as we saw with Barry, it can make Barry start to like wear away if you want to call it basically it almost killed him in the comics so they could do something in the show where you know if Barry is going to die or disappear during the crossover there's like maybe a pretty good chance it might have something to do with the negative speed force and the mixture there and his encounter with blood work they did say that the storyline with blood work is going to feed directly into crisis so maybe they could go down that path have to wait and see, I guess, but there's evidence in the comics to suggest that it could tie in there, or that's the way it will tie in, so we'll have to wait and see. Now, on the show, Ramsey Rosso actually won't be a coroner like he is in the comics, who, you know, steals blood samples from the morgue, but he will instead be a brilliant physician who is the world's leading expert, and that's a quote there, on hematological oncology. Uh, however, it does appear that he will follow... I guess roughly the same, like whole dark path, if you want to call it, to becoming blood work as we saw in the in the comic books. Um, so yeah, now this could be tied into his mother, who in the trailer for season six of The Flash is the occupant uh, of the grave that Ramsey is standing at. Some of you might have called that, some of you might not have. So possibly she is the reason he devoted like so much of his time and life in beco into becoming like such a leading expert in this field. And due to him somewhat failing due to her death, this could lead him down this path. Now, from memory, the tombstone did say that she died in 2019, so her death is a recent one. It's not like she died in, say, 2016 or something, and it's taking him this long to maybe get to this weird part in his life. It's very recent, so it's going to be the sudden push to make him go down this path. So it does make sense that it would be, like, the catalyst for his uh, villainous escapades in the season. Now, we, of course, found out at Comic-Con that Ramsey is an ex-colleague of Caitlin Snow, or, you know, Killer Frost, so that would be, like, that would be, like, his entry point into Team Flash and all that. Maybe he goes to Caitlin for some help, or something like that. So it will be interesting to see how that story progresses in the early stages of season six. But just before the, uh, the big reveal of Bloodwork as the villain for the opening half of season six, uh, the executive producer and new showrunner for this season of The Flash, that being Eric Wallace, did describe the story with this villain as well as the tie-in with Barry or, you know, The Flash. The emotional journey that the big bad is on mirrors the emotional journey that Barry Allen must face going into season six. The big bad this season, if we can do our jobs right, will be the most personal villain The Flash has ever faced emotionally since Eobard Thorne. Because this year's big bad is facing kind of the same circumstances Barry Allen is going through, it's going to bring them closer together in a darker way than villains that perhaps we've seen in the last few seasons. Now, you would have to think that by this, they mean the thing that both Barry and Ramsey will have in common is a loss of a loved one pushing and sort of motivating them throughout the early parts of this season. But also, mainly, the loss of a parent. Well, you know, Barry knows a lot about that, so you could see Barry showing a lot of, you know, sympathy and just understanding for Ramsey in the early parts. This would automatically make Ramsey the most personal villain for the Barry, as he knows exactly what he would be feeling. Sure, there is, like, Hunter Zolomon from Season 2, who was essentially, like, a what-if-Barry-was-evil type character, but Hunter, that happened to him as a kid, and by the, by the point that Barry meets him, he's been insane for a bit. In season six, we will see that descent into madness and blood work for Ramsey. So it's a more present day story while Hunter's was a backstory that we saw. Now, Reverse Flash was brought up throughout interviews at Comic-Con and in the lead up to where Eric uh, Wallace said that Reverse Flash is out there in the wind and could show up at any moment. Though it does seem that Crisis will be that moment we uh, see him show up again. But I don't think it would surprise too many of us if, uh, you know, at all, I guess, if he were to show up a few episodes before that event starts, maybe just to surprise Barry and some others, maybe to poke fun, like, oh, where's Nora? Oh, she's dead. Who knows? He could do that. Like, who knows what he's planning? But Grant Gustin, who plays Barry Allen, aka The Flash, did have this to say about Reverse Flash. 
Moving forward, I definitely want to see us put a bow on the big bad of the series, which is Reverse Flash. And I can understand why Grant says this, Reverse Flash was the first villain we had for a season, and for Barry as a character, it does, ma it does make sense that they, you know, move on from that story. In the comics, you can have him there and bring him back every couple of years and be him like a main reason for stuff that Barry does. But on a TV show, I think the wrap up of their story would be for the best. Even though I feel they did miss a few opportunities with the character, especially with, say, you know, doing a story with a young Reverse Flash and origin stuff and various things like that, I think we're at the point where I think if they, if we said goodbye to Reverse Flash in a really epic way, I think we'd be satisfied with it. Sure, there might be parts we'd be like, oh, it'd be cool if Reverse Flash showed up here, but the Flash is heading into season six. Who knows how many seasons it has left, so maybe it's best to tie up Reverse Flash when you can, and it might feel natural, rather than do it right at the end and try and rush it in. But they're the writers, so we'll have to see what they do. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it would show support. Uh, as I said, leave all of your various opinions in the comment section down below, as well as your expectations for Ramsey Rosso, aka Bloodwork, in the first half of the season. Um, all the stuff like these interviews was talking about Ramsey. Uh, they haven't really gonna, not going to talk about the the big bad for you know after crisis until that you know gets close. Um, so there's no point really talking about that in this video. Uh, but we might, might talk about that in a video to come in the next you know couple of weeks or something like that. But yeah, leave all of your opinions down there. And if uh, you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.